In this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, one of our Patreon members tests my palate in a bottled and bond blind flight. Today's episode goes out to one of our old time and old, come to think of it, Patreon members, Ed Sturgar. Ed, thank you so much. He submitted a blind flight for us. And as you can see up in the corner, it says four bottled and bond flight. And I have, I cannot see in this envelope. So we are going to taste these today. I'm going to rate them. I think that's what he wants me to do. I'm not sure. So we're going to taste them. I'm going to see which one is my favorite and maybe if I have any guesses on these. All right, here we go. Glass one. A little funky on glass one. A little nutty. No guesses. Go to the palette. A little bit of a, like a grape, almost malty note there. Um, really crushable. I don't have any guesses on what that might be. All right, let's go to glass two here. Oh, glass two, very nutty. You know, that could be like a Jim Beam, maybe JTS Brown. Really nice, uh, really easy sipping, but very peanut forward. I guess if I had to guess, I would say, I'm trying to decide between like uh, like Jim Beam's Bottled and Bond, um, could be a Evan Williams Bottled and Bond, but I'm gonna go with JTS Brown on number two. All right, number three. Ooh, this smells fantastic. This is a. Uh, very bubble gummy on the on the nose. Smells very Buffalo Trace to me. Three's got to be Buffalo Trace product. Oh yeah. I mean, again, I could be wrong, but um, very Buffalo Trace to me. I'm gonna guess E. H. Taylor Small Batch on number three. That's by far my favorite so far. All right, glass four. Oh, glass four. Hmm. Wow, that's interesting. Very kind of uh, cocktail fruit syrupy. Um, what is that note? Had a, a note on the finish that I really liked. Glass four is challenging glass three for me. Hmm. That tastes like 1792 to me, to be honest, because there's a specific note I get in 1792, which is that like uh, fruit syrup. A lot of our Patreon members who have been around for a while laugh at me because there's a note in there. It reminds me of my grandma's fruit salad. And I kind of get that on glass four. So I think I'm going to go 1792 on that. All right, let's see. I'm going to open this up. It is sealed. I promise. I have not taken any peeks, but I could look really stupid. This is always the right of doing this so let's see uh oh i guess ranking ranking oh man it's between glass three and glass four let me let me take one more take taste here oh glass three so good that's beautiful that's gotta be buffalo trace yeah glass i'm gonna go glass three and first four and second two in third and glass one in fourth place. All right, there we go. Don't only accuse me of cheating. Glass one, my last place was 1792. Wow, that's weird. Blind, that tastes funky. Glass two is Jack Daniels bond bonded. Okay, so glass two I said was peanut forward. Let me take another sip of glass two now. Yeah, I mean, it is peanut, banana. Now that I'm trying to like pick up, pick up some of those notes. Um, 
it's fine. It just wasn't my jam. Uh, so I had that in third place. Glass three was E.H. Taylor small batch. So I did get that one right. I bottle guessed that. That was Buffalo Trace all over. Uh, that's a really good bottle of E.H. Taylor small batch. I've had some recent E.H. Taylor small batches that I wasn't crazy about, but that was my winner. And then second place, which I thought was 1792, was was early times bottled in bond. And that, that tastes the most brown forming to me now that I know what it is of any of these. It is definitely that kind of has that banana bread um, kind of brown sugar note to it. That is fantastic. That almost beat out E.H. Taylor small batch for me. So E.H. Taylor small batch in first. Early times bottled and bond in second. Jack Daniels bonded in third for me and 1792 bottled and bond. Uh, man, 1792 bottled and bond. I was way off on that. So. We're gonna call this an even since I did bottle guess one of these. Ed, great flight. Thanks for providing these to me. If you guys don't do blind flights, please do them. It takes all the bias out of what you think you like and what you don't. To me, uh, you know, I'm a tater at heart. E.H. Taylor small batch is fantastic compared to the rest of these. All right, guys, till next time, cheers. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, ooh.